Uh, yeah, it's um, it's get it's it's bad when you have so many people that cannot adhere to reason, logic, simple common sense type of logic and knowledge without gnashing their teeth with disdain and disgust because you tell them the truth. That's a clear sign <laughs> that, that the end is very near. You know, nobody knows the day and the hour. But the signs are there. I'm not even sure people, I mean, I mean, what do I know? But it's not like, it's been years since anyone has just come to me or since I, and literally just said, you know what? I accepted the truth of God's son for myself and I've been born again. You don't hear that. You hear people say things like, I went to church. I'm a Christian. I asked a guy the other day, I was like, what is that? He's like, what's what? I said, what's a Christian? Couldn't even answer. You mean you done tagged yourself with a label and you don't even know the definition of, of what you... Yeah. You know, I can say all kind of biblical, biblical words for that type of state of being. <laughs> I'm just going to say stuck on stupid. Not because the information is too hard to understand. A child can understand this stuff. Let me ask you this. If, if Satan is the God of this world, and he is, he is the God of this world. And that word, that word world means system of things. So the devil's actually usurped authority, if you will, on the system of things. Well, Christ isn't in complete control. Uh, he's sovereignly is in complete control over things, but he has allowed the enemy, the opposition, to have his way in certain areas. And one area is the system. In particularly, he's in control of the system. Now, if the enemy is in control of the system, and I hope you agree with me with on that because it's the absolute truth. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that verse has not been changed just yet. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4, 4. And, and uh, let's see. It says Satan, who is the God of this world. And that word, that word world in the Greek literally means system or system of things as I as I stated now in light of that who controls the system under him who would he use who are the people that are in charge of the system man You know, there's been a wool pulled over 
the the Christian religious churchianity people's eyes so much that they believe that the devil does does his dirty work at least most of it if not all of it in the minds of of many church going people through people who smoke or drink alcohol you know well let me say it this way sorry about that let me say it this way through people like well the the hooker or the prostitute uh, the, the, the pimp <laughs> the drug addict is the drug addict controlling the system is the pimp the pusher the the drug dealer the prostitute the hooker are, are these people in control of our system of course not it had to, it'll have to come from the people who are calling the shots I mean, this stuff right here is like completely elementary. You know, if you're going to go to war, know who you're fighting against. Unbelievable. That you, as a believer, would think that the devil is doing his best work through drug addicts and Low lives. <laughs> now wake up, man. People be asking me. People be. I'm using Ebonics. People oftentimes ask me. Who do you vote for? Donald Trump or... Joe Biden or are you a Trump supporter? It's it's got to be a bot or something on, on <laughs> I mean I don't think people just casually come out and ask you that. So I think it may be like a bot. You know, with the algorithms whatever when you Seems like I have to reiterate it over and over. That I'm for King Jesus. And just to put it extremely frank, extremely frank right now, no excuses. All the little kings, small K and princess, small P that are on the earth today, the King of Kings, capital K. It's going to bust them in the ass if they get out of line. <laughs> yeah. You know, everybody's got a hero. You're not going to say that there ain't someone. There's someone in your life that you look up to. People normally look up to someone because they aspire to be like them in one way or the other. I look up to Christ Jesus. So, and a lot of people, several people get upset for it. Or they just won't come right out and, you know, disrespect me in my face. They're not, they're not, they're not really doing that just yet. I'm, I'm too big. <laughs> I'm too big and strong. You know, unbelievers are cowards. They'll deny Christ and disrespect his children. And pretty much decide for themselves that they're going to go to hell. And yet they won't do it by themselves. Why is that? Look, man, if you're going <laughs> to go to hell, man, go by yourself, punk. 
Why are you trying to take somebody with you? Why can't you be a Lone Ranger in this going to hell thing and this denying of Christ and deny? Why you got to put it out there in the ether for other people to tag along and maybe embrace this nonsense that you're talking about? This devilish talk. I'm saying things like Jesus is a myth. Liar. Yeah, the door, the probationary period is closing. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I'm kind of glad I'm ready to go home. <laughs> and I'm ready for my loved ones to be there, too. I'm ready for all the people, to, people of God to go home to that place that he's prepared for us. sir and for all y'all who um, deny Jesus and deny salvation for whatever reason again you have to be pretty stuck on stupid to say I don't want to be born again I don't want abundant life that God the creator could give me because of what his son done on a cross, forgiving me and showing mercy and shedding his blood that I can have eternal life. And all I had to do is believe. And some of y'all say you're intelligent. Who passes up a gift like that? An offer. Talk about an offer that you can't refuse. I've heard that before. That's the only time that that really applies. An offer you can't refuse. Eternal life. But many of you want death. Now, a lot of you have already chosen life. Hang in there and endure until the end. We're almost there, man. <laughs> hey, look at the signs. There's no, man, you're not going to tell me we're going to go another 50, 100 years. Nah. You realize if we went 20 more years, We'd have to go through you know two two more presidents. <laughs> now come on. <laughs> there ain't nothing new under the sun, but man. I don't trust any of the Satanists. The Luciferian, uh, oh man, Gnostics, evildoers. May God bless y'all, man. I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.